guys. Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Breaking news as we are in the middle of a severe geomagnetic storm. Looking at the, the planetary K index, you can see the big tall red spike. That means that there is a storm in progress. Coming over here to spaceweather.com, that's the feature story. Severe geomagnetic storm occurring right now. When this started last night, about 12 hours ago, auroras were spotted in Texas, Mississippi, Colorado, California, and I'm sure other places as well. This is a photo out of Minnesota. I have got some amazing photos and video to share with you guys that were sent in by Joseph out of St. Marie, Montana, and also from Ryan and Pepper from right over here in Williston, North Dakota. These folks don't know each other, but they were viewing the same awesome sky last night, 140 miles apart. We're going to come back and take a look at those amazing photos and videos here in just a moment. But first, over here at the homepage of the website, one of those amazing photos you can see right here taken by, by Ryan and Pepper out of northern North Dakota. Absolutely stunning sky as a wave of CMEs has finally arrived. And coming over here to the Parker Spiral, you can see the first one that arrived right there. There's another one behind it and another one behind that. So this could be a long duration event. You can see the forecasted density goes all the way up into the 13th. So this could go on for the better part of 24 hours. And speaking of density, here's what the CMEs look like in the magnetosphere. This is what occurred at around 5 o'clock this morning. My friend Nelson Jenks out of, of North Carolina happened to catch the, the magnetosphere simulator over here. And this is as the energy was arriving from the, the first density wave, the first CME, first of three. So we've got two more to go. And again, this could be a long duration event, but you can see the, the magnetic field reacting to the energy from the CME. This may be a coincidence, but here in the last 48 hours, we had a rare internet outage in our location out here in Arizona. It was out for 18 hours. I'm not saying that it was associated with the geomagnetic storm because the, the internet outage occurred before the storm. And you can see there are outages right now underway over here at downdetector.com. CenturyLink, USPS, I guess people aren't able to, to track their packages and various things, so there are a, a few outages here and there. I know we were in a rare outage that lasted 18 hours. If you guys have experienced any outages, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, still loaded with sunspots in active regions. Quite large sunspots, as you can see. They've been quiet for the last couple of days, but that could change at any moment. Looking at the Schumann residence, seen some activity in the last 48 hours. Normally, the, the light blue you see is 7.4 hertz. The bright red you see are spikes up over 40 hertz. So there's been some activity in the Schumann in the last 48 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Seen some earthquake activity at the, the Soda Butte seismograph. Other than that, not too much going on at the super volcano wildfire situation still about the same out here in the the western united states and even up in alaska our friends up in canada dealing with the same thing wildfires coast to coast over 2,000 miles of wildfires up in canada looking at the largest wildfire the park wildfire in in northern california 429,000 acres consumed 38% containment, and that would be the largest wildfire out of all these wildfires you see on the map. Also, something else to report, we've been following aviation issues, and here's yet another helicopter that, for unknown reasons, down in Carnes on August the 11th in northern Queensland, crashed into the, the roof of a building here. So, not quite sure what's going on. They're still investigating that, but yet another aviation incident involving, this time, a helicopter. Coming back Back over to the geomagnetic storm. You guys might be in for a treat tonight, especially if you're in the upper latitudes. It just depends on the flow of these, these CMEs that are headed towards the Earth. If they impact at just the right time, down in the, the mid latitudes, we could see some activity. I know we saw auroras out here in Arizona back in May, which was a, a very rare treat. But here we go. I've got some amazing photos and videos to share with you guys. We're going to start off in Montana with our friend. Joseph, the night watchman out of St. Marie, Montana. He saw the auroras at around 11.46 p.m. on the 11th. This is a video that he took. He was able to video these things in the sky. They were so strong in northern Montana. And we might be able to see the same type of activity tonight. This is going to go on for the next 20 
24 hours as there's a wave of, of three CMEs headed directly towards the Earth. Here's some still images that Joseph sent in from St. Marie, Montana. Here's number two, just absolutely stunning photos of the nighttime sky out of northern Montana. Going over to North Dakota, our friends Ryan and Pepper sent in this video footage and some absolutely amazing photos out of Williston, North Dakota. This video has narration taken at 1 a.m. last night. Oh my gosh. What? What is that? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, this is. As you could clearly tell by the excitement in their voice, they were quite taken back by these absolutely stunning skies visible from northern North Dakota around 1 a.m. last night. Joseph saw the first wave come through at 11.46 on the 11th, and then a couple hours later, Ryan and Pepper out of North Dakota saw this amazing sky from Williston, North Dakota. If you guys happen to see the auroras last night, send your photos to reports at Mr. MBB333.com and I'll I'll share them in my next video. These are the only ones that I've got so far. I think I have more in the email. Once again, if you guys have photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at Mr. MBB333.com. Again, these are out of northern North Dakota. Photos and video taken last night. Check that out at 1 a.m. from Williston, North Dakota, and St. Marie, Montana. And here's a really wild one sent in by Ryan and Pepper. Looks like something that you might make up for Halloween. What an amazing sky. Once again, thanks for the photos, guys. And I'd also like to give a big shout out to Katrina and Lee Coleman Bellucci. Thank you guys for your, your contributions. I really appreciate that. Once again, we're in the middle of a very strong geomagnetic storm. This could continue for several hours. If you're over here in the United States and Canada, have your cameras ready tonight after dark. If the, the skies are clear, you might see some amazing skies like Ryan, Joseph, and Pepper saw last night from Montana and North Dakota. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.